Wagner's granulomatosis and other vasculitis. Wagner's granulomatosis is a rare disease characterized by disseminated granulomatosis, uh, granulomatous vasculitis, which primarily affects the upper and lower respiratory tract and kidneys. Systemic clinical features, fever, fatigue, arthralgia, similar to those present with viral infections can also be found. Antineutrophil cytoplasmic autoantibodies uh, direct against the various components of the neutrophil cytoplasm are now regarded as serological markers for renal limited necrotizing and caseating granulonephritis or associated with systemic vasculitis such as ves uh, Wagner's granulomatosis or other vasculitis. The diagnosis is difficult. So presentation, it could be upper airway, lower airway, renal, eyes, skin, CNS, cardiac and others. Upper airway, persistent rhinorrhea, prudent, bloody nasal discharge, oral or nasal ulcers, sinus pain, hoarseness, lower airway, presents with cough, dyspnea, hemoptysis, pleuritic pain, pulmonary consolidation, renal could be glomerulonephritis, proteinuria, hematuria. Eyes may show conjunctivitis, decrocystitis, episcleritis, granulomatous, zero, uh, uveitis, ciliary vascul vasculitis, retroorbital mass lesions. The skin may show papule vesicles, CNS, cranial neuritis, cardiac pericarditis, malaise, weakness, arthralgia, anorexia, weight loss, and fever. Epidemiology: three in hundred thousand patients. Patients much more common in Caucasians, male is to female ratio is 1 is to 1, mean age of onset around 40 years occurs at any age, 15% uh, at uh, less than 19 years but rare before adolescence. Diagnosed by the clinical criteria, nasal or oral inflammation, abnormal chest x-ray showing nodules, fixed infiltrate or cavities, abnormal urinary sedimentations, granulomate. Uh, matus inflammation on biopsy or artery or the perivascular area 2 plus yields sensitivity of 80 percent laboratory evaluation leukocytosis thrombocytosis elevated ESR CRP normochromic normocytic anemia diagnosis biopsy taken from the site of the active disease leukocytoclastic necrotizing vasculitis with little or no complement and IgG or immunofluorescence, granulometrous inflammation and differentiates from M MPA, kidney segmented necrotizing granulonephritis, posse immune or immunofluorescence or electron micrography. NK indirect immunofluorescence, SAC, NK or PNK, 90 95% sensitive, ELISA, PR3 or MPO. Differential diagnosis is small vessel disease, medial vessel disease, and large vessel disease. The small vessel disease could be shark straw syndrome, asthma, eosinophilia, ANCA, positive microscopic polyangiitis, ANCA positive pulmonary renal syndrome, no granulomatous disease, inoxonian purpura, dermal re renal syndrome, cryoglobulinemic vasculitis, cutaneous leukoclastic angiitis, Bashir's disease. Foot passage syndrome, pulmonary renal syndrome, anti glomerular basement membrane antibodies. Medium vessel disease could be polyarthritis, nodosa, renal infarcts, renal vasculitis, visceral microaneurysm, and Ka Kawasaki's disease, coronary artery involvement, multi mucocutaneous lesions, LAD, large vessel disease, giant cell arthritis, takayasuaritis. Anti neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies, antibodies against myro. Peroxidase, MPO, NCA, and proteinase 3, PR3, NCA. MPO and PR3 are found in osteophilic granules of the neutrophils and the lysosomes of monocytes. NCAs are autoantibodies, therefore, NCA associated vasculitis is autoimmune disease. Although particular NCA are likely with particular disease, it is possible to be NCA positive without manifesting a disease syndrome and it is possible to manifest a traditional ANCA associated vasculitis without ANCAs. Any of the ANCA associated vasculitis can be associated with either type of ANCA or uh, ANCAs at all. Other immuno autoimmune disease can be ANCA positive at least on immunofluorescence. 
three patterns of NCA. PNCA shows perinuclear staining pattern. CNCA shows diffusely granular and cytoplasmic staining pattern. Atypical uh, that develops against antigens other than MPO or PR3 will occasionally result in patchy staining. PNCA disease association primary vasculitis like microscopic polyangiitis, Schiagastrol syndrome, polyarthritis nodosa, collagenosis like Felti syndrome, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren, chronic inflammatory bowel disease, chronic liver disease, and primary sclerosing cholangitis. <coughs> CNK association primary vasculitis, vasculitis include uh, vaginal granulomatosis, microscopic polyangiitis, Schiagastrol syndrome, Atypical could be primary sclerosing cholangitis, primary biliary cirrhosis, autoimmune hepatitis, SLE, and microscopic polyangiitis, most commonly NCA vasculitis, median age uh, around 50, vasculitis of the small and medium sized arteries, no granulomas, and 60% of the patients are NCA positive, usually perinuclear NCA with antibodies against myeloproxidase, but can be PR3. NCA and rarely and negative. Schergistrauss syndrome is allergic granulomatosis with angiitis, vasculitis of the small and medium sized arteries, necrotizing vasculitis, builds over years until the full presentation at, as it progresses through the following phases prodromal phase, teens to 20s, allergic rhinitis, asthma, eosinophilic phase, vasculitic phase as early as 20s, 30s, but the mean age is 50s. Treatment Induction of remission, daily oral cyclophosphamide glucocorticoids, monthly cyclophosphamide plus glucocorticoids, low dose weekly oral methotrexate glucocorticoids, no role of plaques unless DH present. Maintenance of remission 12 to 18 months weekly oral methotrexate, daily oral azothioprine cyclophosphamide not advised by 2 by 2 toxicity glucocorticoids should be quickly tapered off and treatment of relapse and reinduction. Morbidities of the disease, the renal insufficiency, hearing loss, tracheal stenosis, saddle nose deformity, chronic sinus dysfunction, morbidities of the treatment, glucocorticoids, diabetes mellitus, infection, cataracts, osteoporosis, pushing white features, cyclophosphamide, cystitis, bladder cancer, myelodysplasia, permanent infertility. Disease was universally fatal prior to established treatment of regime. With above therapies, the improvement seen to be 90%, CR in 75%, relapses seen in 50% of the CR reinduction, almost always successful.